Hey guys, this person wanted me to solve 125 to the 7 third power plus 1960. So first, what does it mean to have 7 thirds in an exponent? So since 7 thirds is a fraction or a ratio, it's called a rational exponent. If we go to andymath.com and type in rational exponents, we'll see this rational exponents form. And what it says is the bottom part of your fraction is the root and the top part is the exponent. So we're going to use these notes to rewrite this. So the denominator of the fraction is going to be the root. So it's the cube root. And then the 7 is outside here. Next, what is the cube root? of 125. Well, that means what multiplied by itself three times gives us 125. 5 times 5 times 5 is 125, so this ends up being 5. Well, what is 5 to the 7th? Well, I don't know, so let's use a calculator. Plug in 5 to the 7th, and that gives us 78125. So we're going to end up doing 78125 plus 1960. And I don't think I need a calculator for this. 0 plus 5 is 5, then we have the 8, and then a 10, carry the 1, carry the 1 again. So we have 80,085. So if we want to check this, we can plug all this into the calculator. So this is is 125 to the power of 7 thirds plus 1960. So then we just hit equals and we get 1960. Nice. So if you want to try more fraction exponents, there's this other page on andymath.com called rational exponents. There's a whole bunch of these you can try. So this 8 to the 1 third would be the cube root of 8. So that ends up being 2. 8 to the 2 thirds would be the cube root of 8. And then square that, that would give you 4. There's a whole bunch of these you can try out and see what you get for the answers. I hope this helps some people practice and learn about rational exponents. You guys are awesome. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.